organized it, but it still feels really chaotic. I don't like this. I found a fun little hack. Okay, I am super fed up. I think I mentioned that the other day that I'm kind of fed up with traveling. I have been living out of these two suitcases for seven months now and it has been amazing. I got everything that I wanted out of those seven months and I'm really, really happy that I made that choice, but I am so ready to have my own space, to have a proper wardrobe again and not be living between suitcases and a storage locker. So something I have been meaning to do uh, since I actually got back to Toronto, which is now two months since I got back to Toronto is declutter and reorganize my suitcases because I have winter stuff in here and I just do not need any of that stuff. And so I need to do a bit of a swap, get some stuff out of my storage locker, put some stuff into my storage locker. And I'm just, I apologize if I'm coming off a bit frustrated. I'm just having a frustrated day. I'm having a frustrated couple of days and I just, I need to organize something and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put my headphones in, I'm going to listen to music and I'm going to start organizing my wardrobe. Okay, I'm starting to make some progress. This first pile here is summer stuff, but I don't really know if I've been wearing it that much. These white pants here actually need to be washed. They just have a few marks on them that should be washed. This pile here is stuff that I'm not even sure I wanna keep at all. I know the blue stripy thing at the bottom doesn't actually fit me. This pile, I am uncertain if I want to put it in storage or I want to keep it out. I have a bunch of socks here. I don't know why they're socks, but basically this section here is just my winter stuff. So I've got my winter boots and my gloves and my beanie and then just long sleeve stuff. So that can all definitely go into storage. Just have a few bits and pieces up here folded. This is just a collection of random stuff that needs to be sorted. And then this is a pile of dirty washing. I have some travel bags and then some documents and stuff over there. So I guess I'm making progress. I need to sit down for a minute because I am really, really frustrated. And I know I shouldn't be making a video when I'm this like angry and frustrated and just worked up. And I'm really, I'm really sorry if this is just not a good energy, good vibe video, but oh, I'm just, I'm just angry. And I, I don't know how else or when else I would make this video because um, I've been feeling this way for the last few days and it's bugging me a lot. And I think it's to do with the fact that this coming week I'm going to DC and I'm so excited to go to DC. I'm so excited because I'm gonna take like a proper vacation and I'm not going to film and I'm not gonna do any work. But in order for me to be able to do that, I have to finish all my work before I leave. And I have this massive to-do list and it's just stressing me out because I feel like I'm running out of time. I feel like I have so much I have to do in terms of work, but it's also kind of getting in the way of me having to do some other personal things for the trip as well. Like I just want to stop working and just prepare myself for the trip and not even worry about it. But that's not how life works. And I have to create a balance right now. Uh, one of the things that I have to do personally is I'm going to an 80s themed birthday party next week. And I have not even thought about my costume. And if I don't make some time to figure it out, I'm going to run out of time to be able to get anything. But I'm not really prioritizing that because I am prioritizing the work because the work is the thing that makes sense, right? So anyway, I'm sure some of you out there have felt this way before you go away, where you're just so overwhelmed and just so stressed. Anyway, one of the reasons that I wanted to get in and do this declutter now is because I do have to pack for DC and I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I don't know what I'm going to take yet. And I just, this has just been on my list of stuff to do for ages. And I just thought that maybe if I do it, it'll just make packing and being organized for DC just a little bit 
easier. So I have a couple things I need to do. I need to take the winter stuff to my storage locker now. I also possibly should think about maybe taking some summer stuff out. I just don't know what outfits I want to take with me. It's the other problem. And then I also need to repair my dress, my revolved dress that I love so much. Uh, I went to wear it last week and the little tab thingy at the back that holds the strap broke open. So I need to sew that back together. I'm going to do that. And yeah, start thinking about what I'm taking to DC, but just continuing this like decluttering journey. But I'm going to sit here for like a few minutes and just try and like calm down so that I'm not so frustrated with this process. I'm almost ready to head to my storage locker. The Lulu bag has all of my winter clothes that I need to put in storage. The Longchamp bag has my boots and I do need to grab my coat. There's absolutely no reason for me to have that at the moment. I have my coat, which is good. It's also freed up a coat hanger for me to be able to hang some other things up. I think I'm gonna do this first and then come back and deal with everything else. Welcome to my storage locker. My battery is now telling me that it is going to die, which is really annoying because I didn't bring a spare one with me. I could go back and get one, but I might just end up switching and filming on my phone. I really should do a full reorganize of this place, but I don't think I'm gonna do the whole thing today. And I'm just hoping that six months from now, I will be emptying this locker and taking it to a new place. That's the dream. Hopefully it all comes to fruition in six months time, but I am going to find a way to organize my boots and the rest of my shoes and my summer stuff. So I don't know, I'm just gonna get into it, I guess. Oh, I actually wanna take some kitchen stuff with me. So I should get to that as well because I'm pretty sure it's in that box right there. some things from my kitchen boxes. I have decided to grab my coffee plunger because I really want to switch to making my coffee that way. I just grabbed another mug that I've been thinking about lately. I also have my little milk frother, which I can use for some matcha. I also have a knife sharpener, which I really, really need. And then I just grabbed an extra couple of knives and also my plastic chopping board because I've only got wooden chopping boards at the moment and I think a plastic one will be very handy. So I'm very happy that I collected all of that. Now I just have to deal with the clothes. This bag is all of the stuff that I had with me right before I left that didn't actually end up in the proper categorized places. So I may re-sort through that and put all the things in there into the boxes that they're actually supposed to be in. my boots into this suitcase. I grabbed a couple things out of those storage boxes, mostly just some more workout clothes that are a bit more appropriate for summer. I ended up putting my coat in here after I took some stuff out and put it into those boxes, but I don't have enough room for the winter clothes that are in here. And I thought maybe, well, that's gonna fall down, but I thought I would maybe grab another one of these boxes. These boxes are from Canadian Tire and I really like them. And I was thinking if I grabbed another big one, then it would fit all of that in there. But then I also realized I should have just brought over the other big suitcase and just left the clothes in it because there's nothing in that suitcase now and it's just sitting in the cupboard. That's pretty much it. I have all the things that I need. I'm going to head back. I grabbed an old notebook because I've been taking a lot of notes by hand lately and I figured why not because I'm actually getting through the one that I'm currently using very, very quickly. A couple of knives. I think I already went through my storage locker with this, but I got this mug. I'm pretty sure I picked this up from HomeSense last year and I love it. And then I have my coffee plunger, so I need to buy some coffee for that. I also grabbed a pair, no, two pairs of workout shorts because it's just way too hot. And then an extra pair of leggings because I, it's all I wear. It's all I wear around the house. So I'm gonna go and pop these into the gym workout pile. Okay, I'm making progress. This here is the workout clothing. I have swimwear. I have a random t-shirt and the uniform for the go place, which is this incredible spa up north. And I will probably go many other times this summer. So I have the uniform already. Pants that need to be hung up, dresses, tops that need to be hung up, tops that can go in a drawer, my jeans, my thongs. Actually, I should put those into my little shoe box. And then I have shorts that can also go into a drawer. So everything is all organized. I just need to put it away. I also have this little tub here 
that has become my shoebox. So that's super handy to keep those all organized. I have a couple of drawers to put my clothes in. So I have swimwear and my like sarong wraparound. I have socks and underwear. I have shorts, jeans. I have one of my toiletries bags at the back. And then up in the top drawer, I have gym clothing. And then my tops, I have some of my sunglasses down there. Honestly, I don't really know what to do with them. And then I have this, what is kind of like a junk drawer with just random stuff in it, but that might be tomorrow's job. I feel like I actually might be getting a headache. I'm really hoping I'm not. It's way late in the afternoon now. I'm gonna go and drink more water and I'm actually going to leave this here for now. I feel like I've made some progress. I feel a little bit better about getting all of that done. Like it's just one less thing to worry about. So I am feeling a lot less overwhelmed right now, which is great. I think I'm going to pick this back up tomorrow though, because there's a few other bits and pieces that I would like to do, but at least I can tick that first bit off the to-do list. Okay. It's a couple days later. I'm far less stressed and frustrated today, which is a great thing. I decided to go and get some coat hangers. I got these from HomeSense. I think this is a pack of 25. I just have the black felt hangers. I love felt hangers. I think they're the best kind of hanger. They're the most practical. You can fit so many in the wardrobe and because they're felt thin straps and whatnot seem to like grab onto them. So I have these. This is all of my pile of hanging stuff with the few mismatch hangers that I do have. There are some felt ones in here already, which is kind of great. I am doubling up. I have like five pairs of pants on one hanger at the moment. And so I am going to put all of these clothes onto these hangers. And then while I'm at it, I'm also going to steam anything that needs it so that it is just ready to wear. Steaming and ironing clothes has never been something that I do and to, to make my life easier in the future, I always sort of iron or steam as I go, but it can be kind of annoying. It has been a habit that I have wanted to add to my routine with my laundry and everything to make sure that I am having everything just prepared and ready to wear so that I don't even have to think about it. So that's what I'm about to do now. One of the things that I really, really like are these clips. I'm not sure if these are attached to the hanger as in they came with the hanger, but you can purchase packs of these off Amazon. And I really want to get some because it means that I can clip my skirts or my pants at the bottom. And then I also have the hanging space for the top or whatever, if it's a set just like this, but so practical, right? I need to have a look for some of these. Okay, everything is all hung up. Yes, I totally went through and color coordinated it. That's what I do. I like it when everything is all pretty and color coordinated. I am now going to steam some of these pieces, especially these white shirts. They really need it. I don't know if a steamer is gonna be strong enough for some of this stuff, so I will give it a go, but at least part one is done. This is the steamer. Now, I actually don't know if this is my steamer because I gave a bunch of stuff to Liz when I moved out, but I also have a bunch of home decor here that's just gonna stay here until I'm ready to move into a place. And I don't know if this was mine or if just by chance we ended up with the same one, but it's quite a good steamer. I got it off Amazon. I like it. it does the job. I just have to wait for it to heat up. I think it's ready now that the green light's on. this dress out in Melbourne and I did a like a get ready with me in one of my vlogs. I don't remember which vlog it was, but I swear the steamer that I had at my brother's house was doing nothing. And I think I changed to the actual iron. I'm quite impressed. That steamer is amazing. I knew there was a reason I bought it. Even if that one's not mine, I bought the same one and it's the best. And that did a really, really good job at steaming that. So I feel like I need to clean all of my white stuff though. It all looks just like a little discolored and it could do with like a soak of some kind maybe anyone have any tips on how to get their whites like super white and bright
This shirt is steaming so much easier than the other one, but I found a fun little hack. If it's the edges or parts that, you know, really require like an iron or something flat pressing them out, if I just steam it a little and it's not hot to touch, I can just flatten it out with my fingers and it actually totally takes the shape it's supposed to. Everything that I wanted to steam has now been steamed. I am actually gonna go back to my storage locker real quick because there was one tub I didn't look in the other day and it's full of all my summer stuff. And because it's gonna be really hot in DC, I need to go and get it. I don't know if I wanna wear anything. I don't even know if I feel like wearing color. Like I have this, oh no. Okay, I have this little orange dress. I got this from Kukai last year. It's really, really beautiful. It's a little fun summer dress. I just don't know how much color I want to wear with me, but it's going to be really hot while I'm there. It's going to be like 30 degrees every day. So I'm going to need to take some little dresses or flowy things, and I just need to go and get that box out of storage. So what I'm going to do is put that the stuff that was in the Lululemon bag into the box and then put the stuff that's in the box into the Lululemon bag and bring it back here. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, we're back. This is the bag. I'm going to empty into the box. The box is right Right at the bottom down there so that's gonna be really fun to get to and then everything that's in that box will go into this bag and come back with me I'm back I have a bunch of stuff the thing that I wanted the most is this green dress and you wouldn't believe how dark this looks on camera compared to real life. It's like a bright forest green, but it's looking really dark and teal on camera. And I love this dress. I got this in 2019, no, 2018. Yeah, 2018, I've had this dress forever. It's from Shopo and it's just a satin polka dot dress. It's super flowy. It has like a cow neck and it's just so, so pretty. So great for the warm weather because you can put a pair of heels with it and dress it up. And then you can also wear sneakers or flats and dress it down. So I figured I would take this to DC because of the weather, it's gonna be hot. And then everything else I didn't really need, but I've got it here. So I'm gonna hang it all out and I don't know. I'll, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Yeah, so I really didn't need most of the stuff that I just got out of that tub. And while I don't wanna wear it right now, you know, I have zero interest in wearing this blue dress and even this blue top and this skirt. And even though they're things that I am not interested in wearing right now, I have kind of decided to stop decluttering so heavily because there's so many things that I got rid of a couple of years ago that I wish I still had. So I'm trying to sit on things for longer and keep them in storage. So having a storage locker is fantastic, but yeah, I really didn't need to get all that stuff out. I still think I need to get an extra tub. But yeah, that's kind of my new plan with decluttering and organizing. I know that I really like these pieces. There's nothing that I really hate and that I think I should get rid of. And I'm just trying to sit on things for a little bit longer until I decide that I really, really don't need them. These two boxes are my junk drawers, if you will. I don't even know how I ended up with so much stuff considering I've been traveling around. There's just, there's just things. I have like a cable cord in here. I have my sponge holder. I have my little jewelry box. I have these hair things that are for doing heatless curls. I have my TJ Maxx card in here. Yeah, it's the rewards card that I keep needing to take with me because I keep buying things. Like I should have had this today when I bought those coat hangers. I just have lots of stuff. I have receipts, just stuff. I need to organize it, get it sorted, clean through it and neaten this up and get everything organized into their little categories because it's just miscellaneous stuff. And it's been bugging me for a couple of weeks now. I'm gonna put my headphones in and keep listening to music because it's what I do all day, every day. Okay, this is all the stuff that I pulled out of my suitcase the other day. I've like organized it, but it still feels really chaotic. I don't like this. It doesn't look neat or organized 
at all, but everything has been divided up into categories. This entire section here is bathroom stuff. This is skincare, skincare, two skincare devices. They do entirely different things, but then those are the glasses that go with this thing. Then I have all this random stuff in here that's just gotta go in the bathroom. I have my Melbourne public transport card, and then also my TJ Maxx card thing that I need to put in an app on my phone. We also have a little travel sized lint roller that I will be taking with me to DC. And then this is my jewelry. And when I went to the Bahamas, I put the rest of my jewelry into a Ziploc bag just so that I wasn't taking everything with me. I didn't need to take it all. And I was just about to put it all back into the little travel jewelry organizer, which I love this thing. This is probably one of the best purchases I've made this year. Anyway, I was about to put it all back in, but realized if I'm going to DC in a couple of days, again, I'm not gonna to need to take this many pairs of jewelry. Although my rings are right here. I didn't realize they were in here. I'm gonna put those rings in here and then just put this at the back of my drawer because I really don't need to take all of it with me. I ended up putting some of the bigger bathroom related stuff into this box. So it's just the skincare devices, the extra skincare I have, my jewelry, the heatless curl hair things, this sponge holder, and the glasses and these can go into my drawers. Actually, you know what else can go in here too? My sunglasses. I might put the jewelry at the back there and then just rearrange this here. The sunglasses case fits in there perfectly. Oh, that is exactly what I needed. This is rubbish. That is my vision board and then a planner. And I need to put the vision board in my diary. And then there's some receipts down there. Things that I mentioned before. I have the box that the heatless curler things came in. This is a belt. This is a bag for my handbag. So that can go with my handbags. That can go with the shorts that it goes with. I don't know if I'm gonna throw that out or use it for storage. And then this is my electronic stuff that's all neatly packed up and boxed away anyway. I can't remember if I've mentioned today or not that I actually do have a migraine. I think the last time I filmed, which was a few days ago, I was talking about trying not to be so stressed in order to give myself a migraine. Well, on Saturday, I ended up going out for uh, Canada Day and I went to the Jays game and I had a couple drinks and I did not stay hydrated enough. And so I woke up with a migraine and it's day two of my migraine. It's not ideal, but I'm drinking some coconut water and I'm just trying to keep myself hydrated. <sighs> I probably manifested this. I probably totally manifested it. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a day for my organizing and decluttering, although I didn't really declutter anything except there's two pieces of clothing that I'm considering getting rid of. But if I've learned anything in the last five, six, maybe seven years of doing decluttering and organizing videos here on YouTube, I gotta sit on things for much longer because I have spent so much extra money repurchasing things that I once already had. So if you've got the space to store things, put it in a storage box and and box and sit on it and see if it's something that you actually want to pull back out maybe a year or two like I don't think you have to wear your clothes every single season if you don't want to you can wear them every few seasons and so there's nothing that I really need to get rid of but I'm glad that I went through all those little but I'm glad I went through all the little junk pile and that's kind of sorted it's not pretty or aesthetic organization in this video but it's organization nonetheless anyway I'm gonna actually spend the rest of the afternoon cleaning and I'm gonna film that and put that on my cleaning channel and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this declutter and I will see you in a few days.